Okay, so tonight we're going to um, show you how to set up a, a basic canvas in Photoshop to prepare prepare you for designing your website. So we're going to design our website in Photoshop. Um, and then later, of course, this is where um, you can take this uh, Photoshop file, chop it up, and put it into Dreamweaver, one of the uh, maybe one of the layouts that Adobe gives us inside Dreamweaver, one of the CSS layouts. So if you want to save your Photoshop file for our Thursday morning class, then that, that's great. Go ahead and save that file. For those of you listening to the recording, don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to check in with us at youtube.com slash ocdigitalart. Yeah, nice plug, right? So anyways, uh, let's start a canvas. File, new, okay? And what I normally do is I'm always sticking to the 960 grid. So on the, uh, on the 960 grid, um, this is the the basic structure for um, what we use for web. So let's let's go ahead and create 960. But I'm going to give myself some extra pixel room outside the canvas. All right. So that's for designing the graphics outside of that 960 grid. And what I mean by that is when you're looking at a website and you um, are looking at it on different monitors the 960 grid will change its size okay and that's going to be the area outside so like where this graphic is right here and this graphic is right here that's outside this 960 grid area the 960 grid is where we put our content but we can design in and around that for different looks as you're going to see alright so I'm going to make this uh, not 960 pixels wide but I'll add an extra 200 pixels on each side so I'm going to go 1360. That's the 960 plus 200 on each side, which makes it 1360. All right, so let's make that 1360, and let's make this about 1,000. Yeah. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by uh, creating some guides. So um, if my rulers are already in pixels, that's great. If you don't see your ruler bar, you can hit Command-R or Control-R if you're on a PC. Um, and right-click and choose it to be pixels. It's on pixels. So I'm going to create two guides, one at 200 pixels and one at um, 1160. All right, And I can do this. I want it to be exact. So I'm going to do this because I could drag them out from the ruler bar. But I'm going to do this by going to the View menu and choose New Guide. Because that way I can tell Photoshop I want a guide at 200 pixels vertically. All right? So I'm going to click OK, and bam, there's my guide. All right? Uh, then I'm going to go View, New Guide again, and make another one at 1160. And make it vertical. And click OK, and there you go. So now I've got two guides which will capture that middle 960 area. 960 pixels will be that middle part. And then the remainder outside is when I'm on a larger monitor, I can see some of the design element. So I could have design elements that wrap themselves around the content and actually fall inside the content of the 960 grid as well. Um, yeah, you have to have the ruler bar up, and so you can do Command R or Control R, and then just right click. That's the easy way to do it. Is right click inside the ruler bar, and then you can choose a check there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to unlock this layer here, and um, okay, and that should set the guide or set us up for creating the elements. So the next next video here, this will be a part one, just how, kind of like setting up our environment. Go ahead and save our file, our Photoshop file, and then um, we'll start the next setup, which is actually bringing in the assets.
Ah. Yeah, 1160. 